I've recorded this video a few times, but I'm just going to do it one more time because I want this to, this saga with the young Gans Max Bill, I want it to come to an end. It has to end. So, for those of you not familiar, I'm going to give you a really quick rundown of what happened with the watch and why I'm in this predicament. I purchased the watch on eBay. The watch was worth £500. So quite an expensive, relatively expensive quartz watch. That's maybe about $600, $630, something like that. The watch arrived and it looked beautiful. I did a video with it. I actually worn the watch for three days before I noticed three little chips in the plexiglass. So I couldn't tell whether it was the seller who had knowingly sold it like this or whether I had somehow chipped it in three different places. I just couldn't tell. But it looked like there was three bits of, three particles, three bits of dust under the screen. It, it looked horrible, to tell the truth. Especially for people, someone who's into watches. If you weren't into watches, you, I'm sure you could live with it. Uh, but I couldn't. So... I couldn't go back to the seller, so I took it to my local watchmaker. Now, I've never used this guy before. He gets rave reviews, you know, people give him five stars. There's a couple of people give him one star, said his communication is not great. Anyway, he has the watch for th just under three weeks, and he hasn't called me at all. So I give him a call, I say, where's the watch up to? He tells me that he's ordered the glass, but it hasn't arrived. 365 Millimeter sapphire. So, what happens next is that he just completely, um, you know, it, it's not been installed. So I, I go and pick up the watch. Another two weeks passes. So now we're up to near enough. Let's round it up to about six weeks now. And he hasn't called me again. So I give him a call. I say, hey, has the sapphire glass arrived? He says, yeah, it arrived two days after you took the watch. <laughs> so with my head in my hands and just a heavy heart, I'm just, why hasn't this guy, why does he not pick up the phone? So I go back to him again. Uh, it's costing me fuel, time, you know, parking money. I go and give him the watch. Another, God, it must be another week passes. It must be another week. I said, is it ready to pick? I called him again. I said, is it ready to pick up? He says, no, the sapphire doesn't fit. Oh, my. So we're now about seven weeks in. The sapphire doesn't fit because he's telling me that young guns use a proprietary uh, plexiglass and his wholesaler doesn't stock it. The only people who have it are young guns themselves. I don't know if that's true, it does sound believable, but again, seven weeks to find this out. So, luckily in those seven weeks, I'd managed to source, which you may have seen on a previous video, a plexiglass replacement for my specific watch, straight from Germany. So, I went back to the watchmaker just a couple of days ago, just last Friday, it's now Monday at the time of recording, and I've given him the plexiglass. I've just called him this morning and said, is it ready to pick up today as we agreed? He said he's not installed it yet. So he said he's gonna be a few more hours. So I'm gonna go there today at 1 p.m., you know, give him plenty of time. It's now at the time of recording, it's almost 10 a.m. I'm gonna give him plenty of time and then I am going to see if this watch has finally been done. And then I've got a big decision to make. Last night, when I recorded this video last night, I, I started to record it last night and, and another one this morning, I was in two minds. I was thinking, do I just sell this Max Bill now? Because my enjoyment of the watch has been just tarnished. Every time I look at it and think about it, with the seven or eight weeks, eight weeks now we're up to, I... I just get a stress headache. It's just it's just been a horrible, horrible experience. Lack of communication, lack of care, lack of customer service. Um, it's not the watch's fault. It's 
the watch maker's fault. But yeah, so I am now wondering, do I just sell the watch and get rid? Or do I purchase one more plexiglass just in case this ever happens again, if it ever gets chipped in future? Or do I just sell it and get rid and just and just keep the tank and the the G-Shock? I've got a big decision to make because I want this today, when this is picked up, I want this to be the end of the Young Gans saga. I cannot continue anymore with the Young Gans saga. It has just been abysmal. I will be bringing you a six month update on the G-Shock. It has been through a fair bit of uh, tough tough sort of wear so do expect a six month uh, post update i don't know when that'll be when, when i've got time um but yeah wish me luck for today and i hopefully will bring you one more video tonight with some more news on the young guns max bill and that will be the final one believe me guys no more after this there are no more <laughs>